Welcome to this tutorial in which we will be revisiting an old tutorial, the one where we made weapon pickups so we could pick up and drop items. Uh, but we will be expanding upon it a little bit because I got several um, suggestions to show how you can pick up and dual wield uh, weapons. So that is what we will be doing today. So let's jump into it. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So this is what we will be creating today. Since our, in our last episode of this uh, well, type of tutorial where we pick up weapons. We only had a character which already had a model in her hand. We could only pick up one weapon for her. In this uh, tutorial, we will show how you can actually use this to pick up multiple weapons so you can dual wield them uh, by modifying the system from the, the last tutorial. So you can see that we can walk up to these weapons on the floor here, on the ground. And if we walk over them, we detect that we have picked up a weapon and we put it in our hand. And if we walk over another weapon, you can see that we put it in our other hand. So now we have two red weapons here. So if we were to walk over this white weapon, we would drop one of our red weapons and pick up the white weapon. That's what we have done now. So that's the red weapon flying. So yeah, this is what we will be creating. It's super easy. Uh, and I'll give you links to the old video uh, if you want to follow along from there to have the whole weapon pickup system in place, which you need to uh, build upon to create this dual wielding system. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26. Now, since this is a continuation from a previous tutorial, I will be linking that tutorial in the description and you should get a little card also in the, a link into the top right for you to follow if you want to, if you want to start from the beginning uh, to make the actual weapon system because that's, or weapon pickup system, because that's where we will be continuing from. So we will be taking that system and altering it to show how you can make use of it to pick up weapons in both hands essentially. So if we start playing right now we can see that we have this character and the reason we have this character is because we did this system for this character over here and you can see that this model already has a weapon equipped from the model so it is not detachable from the hand. So to have a character that is actually able to dual wield by weapons that it is picking up we're going to be using the mannequin so it can use that because it does have two empty hands. Now, you can see that if we run up to these weapons, nothing is happening because, well, we didn't actually implement this logic for the third person character. We implemented it for this character over here. So let's start actually moving some of that logic over. So this is what we created. We have this interface called event pickup weapon, which we implemented in this class here. So that's the first thing we'll do. We go to our third person character. We'll get uh, uh, Interface here will go API weapon pickup. Compile and save. Uh, so now we have that essentially there, but now still nothing will work because we're not actually implementing it yet. But we essentially made all the logic in the previous character. So what we can do is we go over here to the first character and we'll just make sure to copy paste everything that we did here except for the event. We just choose copy. We go back to our third person character We'll go to its interfaces. We'll implement the interface pickup weapon. And let's drag it over here so we have some space. And let's just paste in the code here. So this is the code that we get. And the weapon pickup here, like so. Now for the other character, we created a variable which we had here as the equipped weapon you can see. Since this character doesn't have that uh, variable yet, we can just right click and choose create variable equipped weapon and it will create that for us. Uh, however, since we will be dual wielding, we want to make this a little bit clearer. So what we will do, we will rename this and say left equipped weapon and then we'll right click on that. Okay, something is messing up with the interface. Let's see, there we go. And duplicate and then we will rename this one to right equipped weapon. So now we have two different variables, each one representing which weapon we will be having equipped. So what we essentially will be doing is the same logic that we had before, but we will just be doing some slight alterations between them. So um, let's try and see if this works just like we have it for now. So we'll hook up 
this one over here and this one over here is how I believe this worked. So let's see if we can actually pick up a weapon to begin with. So we run up here and we have a weapon and you can see that it is attaching and following the player. However, it is following it at the root node. And the reason for this is we are trying to attach it to a socket called weapon L socket over here, which we created for our Aurora character. If we go to the mesh here and we open that one up, you can see that we have uh, weapon L socket over here that we created in the left hand, which was the hand that is, or was, this one is the one that belongs to the model, this one is the one that's free. So that's where we created it. So that's what we need to do now. So we need to create sockets for our mesh here. So we'll open up our mesh and we'll go to our hand L and we'll right click and create a socket. And we will move this socket around a little bit. Now I won't be making this super precise. I'll just be making some approximate uh, because you, you can uh, fine tune this and make sure that it looks great from your side. But here's just mainly to show how it works. Um, so that's our hand socket there. To make sure that we have the right rotation, we can also make sure to add a preview asset. And we had, which weapon were we, were we using? We were using the dragon blade apparently. So let's use the same one. So we'll go here and we'll type in dragon blade like so and we can see that the rotation is completely off we need to have a rotation that is 90 degrees around uh, let's see it's the red axis so we'll go to the socket we'll go to rotation we will shouldn't i'm expecting to see a manual Maybe I'm misremembering. We'll just turn it around like this then. So 180 degrees, like so. That doesn't look too great. We want to rotate it a little bit around this angle as well. Uh, come on. Come on. That'll have to do, I guess. So that's what it will look like right there. Uh, now we need to make sure that we have one for our right hand as well. So we'll go to hand R, we create a socket, and we will move it a little bit. So it's somewhere near the hand. We will then make sure to have a preview asset here as well. We can have the same dragon blade. You can see that the rotations here are actually fairly okay. So this is what we will be keeping for now then. So we'll save this and close this down. So now we should have those both sockets. Although I should probably not have closed it down already because I want to know what the names are. So the hand L socket and hand R socket are gonna be the names that we have. Yeah. So let's just copy the name here. Go to the third person character and will copy in the hand L socket as this one to begin with. So now we should, in theory, be attaching a weapon to our hand L socket, the left hand being. So you can see that that works now for this character. And if we pick up a different weapon, the same logic as before should be applying, which is that we pick up the new weapon and drop the old weapon on the floor, essentially. And that one fell off. Yeah, so that works now. So now we need to make this able to uh, pick up a second weapon. So how do we do this? How you want to apply a rule set here for equipping the weapon is completely up to you. We're going to be doing something quite simple. So we will be doing something like this. We'll drag off and take a flip-flop. A flip-flop allows us to go first in one execution node and the second time it's called in the other execution nodes. So we can essentially say that the A represents the left hand and B represents the right hand. And that's all there is to it, essentially. So we will actually, we should be copying this and making it a function. But since this is a matter of only showing uh, simple functionality, how you can do this, the cleaning part, I will leave up to you. 
uh, but this is essentially what we need to do. So now we're doing uh, the same thing on both sides, except we're using the same variables here. So we want to remove these variables. We want to have this one set over here. So the right hand should be blanked out if we have one attached. We want to have a right hand equipped over here. We want to right click and make it a validated git. We want to move to this one. And if it's valid, we go here and we hook up these nodes like so. And they're not valid over there. Like so. And this is more or less what we should be needing, I think. Now, is the reference the reference is going up there it should be going also we need to make sure that the weapon reference is also being sent um, let's make a reroute node over here and we're using the weapon over here so we'll send that one over there and is that all i think that might be all let's try this out so what we have is right now we have only two weapons here but it should be enough for our purposes right now so we'll test it we'll go up the, to the first item it equips in the right sorry left hand we go up to the second weapon it equips in the right left hand also okay so we have a little bit of a bug let's sort that out uh, let's see well it's pretty obvious that this is the issue here we have the same socket name for both of these we need to use the other hand socket, which is hopefully going to be named hand r socket if it's consistent we'll play again we run up to the first item we put it in the left hand we run up to the second item and we now have it in our right hand we now are essentially dual wielding and to show that this works with multiple weapons also like we had before we can just come on come on there we go uh, drag out some multiple weapons in the world like so so we can pick up one weapon here, one weapon here. Now we have two red weapons. So we walk up to the white weapon. We pick that one up and you can see, whoa, the red one weapon flew away really fast. So now it will essentially, every time we pick up a weapon, it will alternate between them, left hand, right hand. Uh, but you could have different logic, of course, if you wanted to. If you wanted to have it like only replace one of the weapons. So you always, your main hand is equipped or, or something like that. It's completely up to you. But this is essentially how easy it is to convert the system from having only in one hand to have it in dual wielding essentially and with different weapons hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care